Hey everyone, today I'm doing a video review on the A-Vision portable scanner for photos and cards. And I'm going to show you what you get in the box. Um, you get the scanner itself, obviously, and then you get the power cable that runs from the back into the outlet of your wall. You get the um, cable that goes from the back of the scanner to your computer, so you can hook it up to your computer. Um, there's instructions to hook it up to your iPad, your iPhone, and other smartphones as well, so you can also do that with this. You also get a micro SD card along with the adapter, and then you get a quick start guide, which is a really comprehensive guide. Um, it's only missing a couple things. It's written in really good English too, which I appreciate. The only trouble I had was it doesn't say what these are for. Now, I gather that it's probably to clean um, the scanner like that because it is just about the size of it. So I'm guessing just to clean the dust out or maybe when you're storing it, you put it in there. I'm not quite sure what those are for. Um, I guess it would work for either one of them. Then it also has this, which I would guess is some sort of calibration. And then um, the photo sleeve for dark or night photo. It also says, please read manual section 3.8. Well, there is no manual section 3.8. So um, I'm not sure if you store your photos in here. I'm guessing you might, since it's about that size, if you have a dark picture, you may stick it in this before sending it through. Um, I'm not sure. So that was the only problem I had with the scanner. It scans really, really well, and I'm going to show you an example of it here um, in a minute. So to turn it on, all you do is you press this green button for about one second. There we go. You'll see that it's blinking here. It's blinking green. It'll blink red here in a minute. There we go. That just means that there's no SD card or um, jump drive in it, which you can put both. You'll see on the back here. Let's turn it right side up. This is where you put your um, cord to go to your computer. You can put a jump drive in here, and then you can also put in an SD card. So I'm actually going to use a jump drive today to scan a picture too. So you just plug that in, and when you plug it in, you'll see that the light turns to green, which means it's ready to scan. So I just took this picture out of a frame. It's an old picture, um, kind of bumpy, but it doesn't matter. It's um, going to scan just fine. So you're going to want to line it up all the way to the left. There's a little arrow to remind you and face up, always face up. So you'll see here, you'll feel it catch and let the scanner do the work. See how fast it is. It's not going to take you long at all. This is perfect if you're, you know, at someone's house and they have a picture um, that you say, hey, I wish I had a copy of that. Well, hey, just pull out this scanner and get it done in a second. If you're going through old photo albums and people want pictures of it, you know, scan those, send them to them by email. It's really, really easy. So there it's scanned. It is automatically sent to this flash drive. Um, and I'm going to pull that out and do a second part of this video to show you um, what it looks like on the flash drive on my computer. Before I do that, just one other thing. This is the DPI. This button right here switches your DPI. So when it's green, it's on 300 DPI. Push it once and that will scan at 600 DPI. So this is really a handy little thing. Um, I am not big at picture taking, but my family is. So they always go out and print out all the pictures and hang them up on the wall. And now I can go and hoard their houses um, and hoard all their pictures and scan them. <laughs> so I have them. I'm more of a digital person. So this is going to work out perfect for me. Um, again, the instructions are really nice aside from those couple um, things that I weren't sure exactly what to do with. Um, but other than that, this is a fantastic product that I'm really looking forward to using. All right, guys. So I just took out the jump drive. From the back of the scanner, I am going to plug it in to the side of my laptop here. And we're going to pull up that picture that I scanned just so you can see um, how easy it is to find. So we're going to go over here. We're going to go to Removable Disk. And it will always be under your DCIM folder. That's what it automatically saves it as. And then your folder. I actually scanned it twice. So let's go to the second one that I did. And it pulls it right up, so I won't let you look at that for too long because that's <laughs> it's kind of scary picture. But um, you can see how nice and clear it is and um, how easy it was to go from the scanner to the jump drive to the computer. So very portable, very versatile um, piece of technology there.